So, um, this is uh, chapter 67, and it's, um, it, it's in, um, this is the religious stuff that I was talking about in the previous chapter. This is by a guy named Taverner. Um, uh, uh, John Taverner um, is, actually, he's a contemporary uh, spiritual writer of really big works. He, he writes other stuff as well, but this is, this is like, this is reminiscent of early, early church music, almost like chant. Um, uh, this is referred to in the book, it's called uh, Two Hymns to the Mother of God, and um, really, really great stuff, has a lot of dissonance, but consonants, just like it, it was tension, 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 and then resolution. So, um, that happens in this music a lot. There's another fellow named Arvo Part, and he was actually, um, uh, he was, uh, uh, he was persecuted in Eastern Europe. He fled Eastern Europe to come to the United States so that he could, um, he could do his music, um, and his music uh, was his opportunity to express his faith. So, um, Arvo Park has written a lot of masses, and he is a current day um, writer of a lot of spiritual things. There's another guy um, uh, um, that writes a ton of stuff, and um, and he writes for a lot of um, uh, well, a lot of vocal stuff um, uh, that I'll remember his name in a minute. Just listen to Arvo, Arvo Park for a minute. This is very much like Gregorian chant. Okay, there's a, that other fellow, his name is John Rutter, and John Rutter writes very consonant music, uh, accompanied by orchestra, sometimes by organ and piano, but it's really melodious, and um, he's written a ton of it. Um, like he has a ton of Christmas music. Um, he has a ton of, 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 of Easter music and, and a lot of just spiritual things. Um, there's great composing being done in all levels, secular, sacred, and the book even brings that out, which is kind of cool. See, this sounds a lot, I know it's four part, but it sounds a lot like Gregorian chant. And he wrote this in 1977. This is Cantate Domino, Canticum Novum. So this is actually in Latin, similar to what Gregorian chant would be, but this is Arvo Part actually having the freedom to write it here in the United States. Um, interesting. Um, uh, I had a student who was friends with Arvo Part's son, who was also a composer, and he said, I grew up with him. So I had him in my, um, in my class, and he was, he was from near Russia. I, uh, in fact, this, this fellow grew up in Eastern Europe. He says, yeah, Arvo Part, I know his son, and told me a little bit of story. Um, uh, so um, th there's some, some really cool stuff uh, happening here, um, and uh, uh, it's definitely worth mentioning. Um, so it's not all weird. It's not all craziness. Um, this is all apart, obviously, apart from pop music and jazz and some of the, that, those directions. Um, and that's why we bring it up, and this would be... Um, that classical genre of music.